have landed, ladies and gentlemen, yes. Here we are in the studio, Much Music Iggy Pop. It's so nice to see you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're on the... Um, 401 circuit. The 401 circuit. I'm loving yeah. it. I'm loving it. We played, uh, we played in London last night. It was great. This little place called Kipling's. Took like a couple hours to get there, and I played all my favorite tapes and uh, kicked back, and it was next door to the Burger King. Oh, well, people, there you go. The people were great. The people were great. I mean, we played good. Well, how, right. how different is it? Because last time I saw you, you were warm opening with the Pretenders. Now, that must be a whole different thing to take that big show and then put it and be really intimate about it. I'd rather be, I'd rather be where we are now, yeah. you know. I did, I did that, like, just to get seen, really, you know, so everybody would see. Oh, hey, I think he's all right, you know, <laughs> check him out. You, you know. thought you had to do that? I mean, I thought everybody thought you were all right already. Well, you never know, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't mind doing my own gig in Blackhawk. Dealy, whatever it is, you yeah. know, but but I like the clubs too. I like the people I'm, I meet, the contact, and it's real good. Yeah. It's real good. That would be really. I mean, what would you do if you if you suddenly were faced with saying, "I got to take my own show into a fourteen thirty thousand seater"? I mean, you'd want to go. Well, I'm doing. We're doing yeah. after we finish. We're doing uh, RPM three nights, and then uh, Montreal and Ottawa, and then we're doing uh, Reading in in England, which is like twenty thousand people. We're headlining, yeah. so it's going to be totally different but that's all right yeah that's all right basically as as long as it's in your face it's all right with me you know <laughs> as long as it's not all kind of like polite and where did i put my car keys and all that kind of thing as yeah. long as there's a vibe it's okay yeah. well that that in your face is just the thing i felt the first time i put on the new record the instinct record i went Yo, yeah it really right it, it really jumps it yeah. jumps it's a the band uh there's a good little band that really existed before we went in the studio uh, I took a little rehearsal place in the uh, Chelsea area of New York, and we just played together every day for a month, uh, not trying to perfect things or like listen in stereo, just playing. Mm -hmm. And really, really, we were a band by the time we went into the studio. And when we cut the stuff, all the stuff was cut live. And then later, if we wanted to improve something, we'd improve it. But it, it all existed live first. Everything on this album has a has a live track that exists where five people played music at once in the same room at the same time because that's that's what's missing right now in mm -hmm. music it, it's there's not much of that going around there's too much overdubbing there's too much multi-tracking there's too much uh empty thought going into it there's too much money being made yeah <laughs> Well, how do you That's react anyway. if, if you see somebody live who's not given what they could do, if there's no passion and there's no edge to it? What do, do you, I do? Does I it? split. Yeah. <laughs> I take off. Yeah. I take off. And uh, I, I, go, uh, I go out to see bands a lot, but they're generally bands that not a lot of people are heard of, and they're usually like at little clubs where I live in New York or uh, in Los Angeles or just different cities I go to. But mm. uh, I don't... To tell you the truth, uh, if, if you looked on the Billboard chart, you wouldn't see many bands there that I'd go across the street to see. But there are some. Guns N' Roses is really good. L.A. Guns put on a good show. Megadeth's always good. Metallica's real good. Uh, there are bands that are, that are good, you know. But I like a lot of little bands, uh, you know, that nobody's ever heard of. And maybe some of them aren't so good, but at least something's going on. Yeah. Now, how do you make sure that when you put a project together that, that it's going on for you? Is it, is it partly surrounding yourself with guys like Mr. Rocket Fuel, Steve Jones? Yeah, it's, it's basically down to, I mean, I don't think you have to jump up and down all the time to make, to make something click. I think the basic thing is, what is your motive? I want to know why is this guy, excuse me, I want to know why is, I don't mean to point at you, but why is this guy doing this? If he's, if he's just doing it uh, like so that, you know, if he's doing it for the right reasons, and if he's really passionate about it, then then it's going to come across to me. I'm going to want to work with him. Mm. Uh, with with Steve, I have a real good chemistry that way, and uh, and he sort of spurs me on. Uh, I've got it with Andy too. Andy McCoy, the guy I'm working with live, who's another hot dog like Steve, just total rock and roll victim, you know. <laughs> you know, he's a guitarist. He like he like walks at a 45 degree angle, you know. <laughs> Hey, where's the girls, man? Have you got a cigarette? Uh, I left my money in my other... You know, it's I thought there were drummers in you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, so it's like that. 
It's like that. Well, we should take a look at the, at the video from, from your new album, Cold Metal. Now, you worked with another guy who you thought had real edge Sam to Sam Raimi. Yeah. Sam Raimi, the director yeah. who did, if you've never seen his films, Evil Dead or Evil Dead 2, you should really see them. They're wonderful. They're, they're, they're in the horror genre, but it ain't really horror. It's psychology. Mm. And it's very, they're funnier. So they're really funny. So but Sam's great. You should check him out. Well, we're going to check him out right now. Okay. Here's Cold Metal from Iggy Pop on Much Music. We'll be right back. On, my, on Much Music, and we're here with Iggy Pop. Iggy, I gotta ask you. Yeah. This I've never seen the move you do in live performance, and you do it in that video where like you this. hit the back. That's an Iggy Pop. I mean, have you ever walked into a bar and seen somebody else do that? Hit the back of, what? Hit the back <laughs> of my own ass foot. or my foot? No, oh, hit my head foot. with my foot. Yeah. <laughs> I got that off of, I was traveling in Haiti about uh, seven years ago, and uh, there was a drawing of a guy doing something similar on, a, on the wall of a, of a nightclub. Mm. I just thought it looked really good. You see it in, in art. I got it off art. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. Now, while everyone else was watching the video, we were talking about dance, because yeah. when I see you perform, you are a natural dancer. Now, do study that do you work no i just i just like to sort of move around but yeah. i can't i can't even waltz i mean i couldn't ask you to dance <laughs> i can't i couldn't slow well, dance no i can't know. i couldn't slow dance when i was in school yeah. i used to step on the girl i dropped a girl once when they had you know they, you're supposed to do this i dropped her i was so embarrassed she was fine too yeah yeah <laughs> Mary Jane Le Fay. Mm. Oh dear. Oh mm. well. There you go. <laughs> You've been doing some uh, acting recently. I can think of a few things like The Color of Money yeah. and uh, Sid and Nancy, of course. Yeah. And there was, now, didn't you do something on Miami Vice? I did a thing. I'm so glad it didn't come out. It would have been a disaster. They, they, they hired me to, to play a they, to play the owner of a bondage and domination bar who sold like dildos and rubber masks and shit, sex aids. Now, why and would stuff. they have picked you for I that? Don't know. Uh, and they had me. They had they had this chick to play my wife. She was she was something else. She's about six foot two, blonde, uh, enormous, Bavarian charm, looking yeah. girl. Yeah, she, she had full charms. This girl. Yeah, she was cool. Yeah, but uh, it was a silly scene. And uh, I'm sure I'm sure it was much better than the rest of the show, mm. but I'm glad it didn't come out. The rest of the show, that that show is so low energy, you yeah. know, like the captain. I'm gonna get him, you know, and like the eyes, oh, this macho, give me a break, you know, all that. Shit. <laughs> you know, and I was in there like kicking and spitting and everything, yeah. and it was cool, but it, it wouldn't have been right in the show. Is there a time when you ever Besides, come they down? just they put me in TV Guide about eight times for that, so I got free PR. Too. Oh well, there you yeah. go. <laughs> so, uh, is there a time when you do sort of come down a notch in energy level? Sure, all the time. I, mm -hmm. I even do on stage lately. A lot of times, I don't feel I don't feel compelled to, uh, you know, I don't think I have to always overkill. Yeah. And uh, and you hear it in some of the vocals on this uh, this record that's out right now, Instinct. Some of the vocals are mellower. And almost ballady, actually. Yeah, yeah, I like to sing that sort of stuff. I. I was listening to, you know, Frank Sinatra, who was in his 40s when I was 18. I wasn't just listening to, like, Fabian, take a walk with that shit, man. Mm. I don't need that, you know. Mm. Sorry, but, you know. Sorry. I didn't know, but all that stupid, stupid packaged hair grease stuff. No, I like, I like, I've always liked good yeah. singers and uh, good music. And, and music's something that... You know, it gets me on an emotional level. Uh, I was, li I got, probably got into rock and roll because I loved classical. Because, like, you know, when you're a little kid, they play you classical at school, right? Yeah. This is music, and they play you this. But a lot of that's good music. It's beautiful, and it, it was, I found it moving. So, you know. Do you, do you think the reasons are the same? Like when you first knew that you had to rock and roll, are the reasons that you're doing it now still the same? You think? What do you mean? Well, when when you said this is going to be my life, I'm going to be a yeah. performer, a musician. Yeah, uh -huh. Is it now when same you're doing reasons. it? Really? Exactly the same. I, I feel just the same about it. And then, you know, half of the reasons are positive because it's mm. something I want to do. Half is negative because there's all this other part of life I don't want to be involved in, and this is a good way to get out of it. Mm. And so, you know, huh. it's the same. It's the same. I mean, it's, is it because it was a dangerous thing? I mean, 20 years ago, getting into rock and roll, it's a, now it's it's a career option. Yeah, you know, I, know, before, I know, I know. It really used to be you were marked for life if you mm. did this, and you know, people 
people, friends of my family felt sorry for my mother and father and <laughs> felt sorry for me and, you know, all this la da but I knew what I was doing, hmm. you know. I didn't ever think of it, I just knew it was right to do. I didn't think, oh, and of course I'll make money with this, or of course I'll make albums. I just thought, I want to make albums. Hmm. That's all I care, you know, because you're alive. I mean, money, you can always get that, and girls, you can always get those, but you're only alive once, and when you're dead, you're dead, so you might as well do something with the time that you can hold your head up about. That's kind of like my philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but suddenly, <laughs> it seems to be working, I mean, on all levels for you. You, you still can say <laughs> what you want to say, and yet there's a lot more people hearing it right now, especially with blah, blah, blah. I reckon so. Well, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to, to be visible. Mm. <laughs> do you think it has I'm anything... I'm in town. <laughs> does it have anything to do with, because people have made a lot about your lifestyle changes yeah. of, of the last... I mean, you, you no longer go out there and shock and raw meat and peanut butter and wave bits of your body at the audience. I, it, do you think they that has... They grab bits. They do grab Yeah, them? you know, it's all right. You don't have a security team I don't mind a little up. feel. <laughs> You're in there. It's all right. Yeah. But Blah 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 was really the album that sort of opened a whole new set of doors for you. Yeah, and it got me in, like, written up in Family Circle, right? You know, oh, like, where you always wanted to... He doesn't to take drugs anymore! You know, hey, mm. you know. You know. <laughs> but we're going to see a video for Blah Blah Blah. Spell my name. <laughs> I Baby. can. I G G Y. Yeah, I G G Y. That's right. <laughs> Pop coming that's up right. on the Patience Music Station. Here uh huh. It is. Uh huh. <laughs> More Biggie Pop coming up on Much Music. Found here on the Nation's Music Station, sitting in for those vacationing VJs, and my special guest Iggy Pop. Hi. Man. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was reading somewhere where you said once to somebody mm. that that you like to spend a little bit of every day, an hour or two every day, being a little off balance. Now, how do you go about creating <laughs> that for yourself? <laughs> you said I, I was talking about just doing doing stuff that you're not. Uh, that you're not acclimated to normally doing. I'm trying to just learn about something like, uh, like I think that was about the best thing about being 12. It's like when I was 12, like everything was like, whoa, what's that? What do I do? And you know, like when I dropped that girl when I was <laughs> trying to waltz with it. You know, it's like a new experience, and uh, and that's what I meant. So like, uh, you can maybe, uh, I don't know, like uh, try to like if I go out and hang out with my parents, for instance. Like they're much older people and live in a, they live in northern Michigan, uh, in an environment that has nothing to do with how I live my life. So if I go there, wham, I got to relate to hunters and fishermen, and uh, I've got to slow way down, and I've got to, uh, I got to look at another way of life, and uh, get along with the trees and stuff. <laughs> so stuff like that. Or like, uh, like uh, acting is a stretch, mm. you know. That was that was a stretch when I did the uh, those scenes with Tom Cruise and Color of Money. I mean, I was really scared before that, you know, for the, the whole day. And like, I didn't know that you have to wait around 12 hours in movies <laughs> to get your bits. Like, yeah, I was all Johnny on the spot at 7 a.m. Right, Mr. Scorsese. You know, here I am. You know, <laughs> I'll save your show. You know, and, you know, and I, I did, so I sat in this little sat in this dressing room in about four by three in an unheated trailer for about 12 hours. I could have just stayed in the in the hotel. I didn't know. But just the idea of trying something just because it's different, I think is real important because, again, like it's, you know, it's my one life and uh, I just like to sort of get around, mm. you know, kind of an aerosol sort of approach to things, you know? You mean spraying bits of it yeah. everywhere you go? Yeah, I don't want to feel like just, you know, some old horse that knows the way home is doing the same thing over and over. Oh, yeah, man, and where's the gig? And, you know, I got the blow and, yeah. you know, get the bimbo. Hey, you know, so what do you want to try you know. that you haven't tried yet? What's, huh? Do you have a checklist of things you want to try? I want to learn to surf really surf. bad. Yeah, I did it. I, I met this guy, this guy named Cole. Kong, Bobby Kong from Australia. I met him down in Mexico and he got me up on the board twice for about five seconds each and that was a real big thrill. So that's like the next thing I'm really excited to learn how to do is surf. That keeps you on. How do you maintain your edge on stage? Like how, so that it doesn't become repetitious or boring after a while and you go through the same moves? The, the main thing is I just don't think about it. Mm -hmm.